It's over me. I'm here with uh, Andy Lunt of Lunt Solar Systems. Andy, tell us what you got going on today. Okay, what we got going on is we're introducing some products here. We have the uh, Calcium K60 right at the end. Uh, this is pretty much a, uh, a what you get when you when you buy the calcium calcium case uh, system. You get a slightly larger case. The blocking filter, yeah, the, uh, the blocking filter will be going into the back of here. So that's kind of an overview of what things look like. You don't get the teddy bear. Um, these are the. Uh, they actually don't get the teddy bear. No, well, we'll ship you the teddy bear. You can keep it for a few days and then. It'll be made and such we have to send it back. We have to sign a book. Um, this is the uh, dedicated 60 telescope. And what we'll do is we'll just go over a few of the, a few of the features, and we'll tighten some things up. People have loosened stuff. Um, it's a 60 millimeter objective. It comes with a clamshell. And what we've been able to do, we've been able to kind of reinvent the product from the ground up. Um, that's the nice thing about working at, uh, at other companies for, for a long period of time. You get to hear all the feedback from the customers. I'd like this, I'd like that. So what we've done is we've offered the uh, two-inch uh, um, uh, Crayford style focus with a 10 to 1 reduction. Um, this will, this, we have the uh, two-inch, on our products, on our dedicated products, we're offering the uh, two-inch uh, uh, diagonal. Um, so the way the diagonal works is uh, we have all the blocking in here, B600, B1200, B1800. Uh, some nice features about the, uh, the diagonal are that the, the uh, filters in them are clockable. We'll clock them at the factory so where we think they're, they're good, but then the customer can fine tweak them just so we'll get them to the point where in order to achieve uh, a solid camera mount for the system when you're using it for imaging, you can remove the two and, two and a quarter inch adapter and actually thread right onto the T adapter right here. So your camera's attached directly to here onto a two inch, which will focus a very solid foundation for, for, for imaging. That's your regular price, eight ninety nine. That's that's sort of an overview of how the how the system sort of work. Um, what we're going to be pushing a lot of in the future is education, but not only education for the high end users who basically want to know how their products work because it, if they bought a, if they bought a Porsche, they would want to know exactly what was going on. So instead of taking your telescope apart, we're offering you we're offering you the step by step process of how you can actually build build your own solar telescope if you choose. Uh, we use a. Uh, uh, precision singlet in the front. The, this is actually a doublet when combined with the combined with the uh, collimating system. These acts, this acts to um, remove aberrations that may be caused by the singlet. On the front surface of this uh, of this optic, we have an IR reflecting mirror to reflect the IR back out of the system. It's then collimated through the Edelon system, which is tiltable to this little this little wheel right here. It then reaches the refocus lens, which which effectively gets the system back to the, the 500 millimeter focal length. And it's a series of, uh, this is a, a safety filter, it's, it's a, an IR blocking filter. We have a mirror here, the, this mirror sets the brightness of the final image. We have mirrors in the 40, 50, 60 percent transmission range or reflection range. And uh, it, depending on how some of these coatings come through from our vendors, we determine what mirror to put in. And then we then have our uh, blocking filter, which actually blocks, this is this filter right here. It actually blocks the out of the uh, outside harmonics of the uh, Edelon, providing an H alpha peak. And then the last filter is our U is our UV blocking filter. The reason we have the UV blocking filter right at the back is it's actually the dullest, the dullest filter of all. And we put a nice AR coating on that, so when your eye looks in there, you don't actually see yourself looking back at yourself. No, they're not illusion; they're different scopes. Our largest telescope is the uh, is the LS 200. Basically, it's a 200 millimeter. 100 millimeter focal length Newtonian, and um, it allows you to view um, both hydrogen alpha and calcium K simultaneously through one side and the other side 180 degrees from each other. Uh, because it's a double pass system through an Edelon, the the resolution of the hydrogen alpha should be somewhere around uh, 0.55 angstroms, and the uh, the calcium K side provides for about a 2.4 angstrom band pass. Because of its focal length of 1200, you're actually getting about a 10 millimeter image size, which is, which is a fairly large image size for a, for, a, for a telescope. It gives you a nice large image to look at so you see details and 
and, and actually zoom right in on a really good day. Sounds good. How, how are these in terms of uh, solar imaging scopes? Solar imaging scopes? Because because we've, we've gone to a lot of effort to provide um, um, people with the ability to attach cameras directly to them, these are probably about 0.7, uh, uh, less than 0.8 at least, uh, bandpass hydrogen alpha filters. Um, they'll provide full disk, full disk, as well as uh, um, uh, you be able to see prominences and surface detail at the same time. If you double stack the system, then you would be able to see more surface detail because of the dimness of the image a little bit. You're going to lose a little bit of the edge detail, but that's that's known. Right. Other than that, um, we're going to be coming out with nine other products over the next. Uh, couple of months. Nine? Uh, nine, yeah. Keeping yourself busy. These, these, these products will start shipping to the dealers in about four weeks. Four weeks, okay. Uh, the LS200 LS will be shipping to dealers probably by the end of July. Uh, but the uh, follow-up of the grand finale of, of the year is probably going to be the LS160, which is a 160 millimeter front-mounted filter, and that'll be out for probably about December. Okay. And then next year we're going to start out with a whole new, whole new gamut of, of, of filter systems. Sounds like a great uh, time ahead. Thank you very much. Thank you.